How we did folks? Back out. So where are we off to tonight? We're gonna go we're gonna go for a wee riverside camp tonight. So another camp down here. I'll be honest, that's a kind of stealth camp. Yeah. I'll be honest, I think this is a kind of private estate. But we're down here a couple of times. Uh, which it's like a kind of riverside location. But there's a couple of nice wee spots right on the edge of the river. So I'm basically going to make my way towards that, uh, get set up, make some tea, and just sit by the riverside. So, night set young, don't go away, let's go. Oh, no, no timing. Well, say, no time at all, but you can probably hear the rain's on. Typical Scottish winter, it's raining. But I've got the tent up tonight. I'm in the Old Pro. I can't even remember the name of it. It's Old Pro something. It's not the Ranger, it's not the Voyager. It's a kind of smallest one man tent. That's terrible. I'll try to remember to put a link down below. But I do do good tents. Uh, I've got a couple of, well, three, three other tents. This one's actually quite similar to... <coughs> uh, it's actually quite similar to the foul raven I've got. It's got the two wee poles at the front. Uh, it's not got them at the back. But it's got them at the front. So, just a wee one-man tent. But really... Ideal. So we're set up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my sleeping arrangements set up. I've also got, I think I showed you that's my last video. If I still got it, I'm sure I picked it up. Yeah, this flexi tail, uh, flexi tail, flexi, aye, flexi tail too, I think it is. So we need a pump for blowing up your mat. Absolutely brilliant. What a brilliant idea. And the fact it's obviously it's got the it's got the light on it as well. So that'll do for later on. I've actually bought a couple of lights with me, but a head torch and I think I've got a torch as well, so I'm gonna be stuck for light. But we're gonna get my sleeping arrangement set up and then uh, we'll go on everything else. So don't go away. set up. So sleep wise at night, what have I got tonight? Uh, silver foil pad, static uh, V recon pad, the Leviathan 900 for OEX, Tricology pillow, usual kind of set up. Outside wise, right next to the river, perfect. So as long as it doesn't come up anymore, I don't, I don't I'll end up getting washed away through the night.
Not bad wee spot though. Okay, it's actually turned out not too bad now. Rain stopped, so I'm going to crack open a wee bottle of wine. I'm going to do a bit of cooking tonight. Uh, nothing too fancy. Something quite kind of simple, to be honest. But I'm going to spend the night here, but then I'm up at the crack of dawn tomorrow, so. Just a wee quick solo overnight camp down by the riverside. Relaxing. Oh, great. It's not the sound of rain, it's the sound of water. It's a bubbling river. Same bubbling river, it's a raging river today. We've got a, quite a bit of rain today, so. But the rain stopped, so hopefully I'm going to. I've got my gas stove, but I've also brought, uh, I've probably seen this before, but I'm going to be around. So, this is the Otzi Adventure Gear, Adventure Gear Spark. So it's just a wee kind of, there we go, wee kind of fire pit, kind of grill thing. So I don't know whether to actually use that to cook on or whether or not to use the gas stove. I just think if I put that on I'll probably as well I'm actually using that. Especially the price of gas nowadays. So it's really enough isn't it? I'm to buy a I'm to buy a gas gas canister all day and I'm thinking how much? And I must have I do quite like cooking on on the fire. So I've got that in my it's a pan I've got the night. But, uh, it's not the Ridge Monkey one, the TF Grill I've got tonight. So I'm going to, what I'm cooking, I'm going to cook in that. I can't even remember where I've got any chocolate or anything with me. But I'll worry about that later. I think what I'll do, I'm going to set this up just now. I'm going to set it all set up. So it's just. Five plates, four, four plates, and then we can add a little bit at the top. It's great because you can obviously, one, you can use it for cooking on, but you can also use it uh, for a wee fire pit as well. It's ideal to let you make any scotch marks in the ground. I'm going to set that up just now. Wood's prepped, uh, the Oxy Grill set up. So, it's cooking. What's cooking? John's kitchen tonight. Like I say, it's nothing fancy. Uh, I do actually need to wash my hands before I start pressing it. So what we've got. Right, I've got some crusty buttered tiger bread in there. Right. Chicken tikka slices, Got some spring onions, Got some mozzarella cheese, and finally we've got the best salami selection. So the plan is to make a toasties tonight. So I'm going to whack a whole lot of them, all that, all those ingredients. I'm just going to chuck that in there. Two toasties. You know I'm gonna taste immense. Mozzarella cheese especially. You've got to love it, don't you? It's even it melts and so I'm quite sure this is gonna taste fantastic. But first things first, I'm gonna wash my hands. Uh, what do I need to do? I need to to be honest the only thing I don't I need to do is chop up the spring onions. So I'm gonna do that first. Then we'll get the Oxy Grill on, get the fire on. It's not a fire, it's just, it's just, I've just got the wee one man one. But we do do bigger sizes. But I just thought for a lot of time I went so low. It's just quite a handy wee bit of kit just for a new raised fire pit and for cooking on. So, 
what's going on with it. Take the cut, cut out the spring onions. So, I don't know if I showed this one in my last video, it's got a new bushcraft knife, uh, a buck. I feel it's a full tang, lovely handle, very well made knife to be honest. So I'm going to cut up some spring onions with it. <laughs> so let's get chopping. I'm also laughing, because as always, if I ever forgot, I forgot a plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use a lid for that in a plastic tub I've got. Chop the ends off of these. I'm just going to chop the whole lot up. Like I say, I'm just going to chop everything in these two toasties. So I think it'll taste immense. First up, the salami, fixed in chicken tikka, oh, I tell you these are going to be the, these are going to be, these are going to be the best toasted ever, to, best toasties in the world, fixed in, let's have a layer of mozzarella cheese. Spring onion. Don't mind if I do. No salami. Oh yes. Shock it all on. More mozzarella? Yeah, you know what makes sense. Oh, these are going to be so good. Oh, I cannot wait to fuck. Oh, sorry, I'm going to it up. Can't wait to tear into these. And then, still got these. A of spring onions left. Just chuck them on as well, as well, won't we? Oh, oh, I cannot wait to tear into these, I really can't. Now, what we'll do, we'll just wrap these up. Uh, I'm just trying to think, where's the... I'm trying to squish it all down. Squish them as well. Right, and then we'll wrap them up with tin foil. Stick the one there, the fire. Kaboom! Fire's uh, going now, so I've got the TF grill tonight. So all we're going to do is. Whoop, edit. Whack the two of them. And tear grill. Whack on the fire. And four minutes for now. These bad boys are ready to go.
let them cook away. Like I say, it should be four, four minutes max, I think. Oh, it's just great, great being out. Absolutely fantastic. I don't know. The, rain, the rain's kind of stayed off, so I've been quite lucky. But oh, it's just to see that sound of that river flowing by. So, uh, I was out with Sean, the cosy camper, for the last night, night before. Uh, I'm going to try in a couple of weeks' time and get a, I think I probably maybe mentioned it, I'm going to try and get a Christmas camp organised, maybe try and do a Christmas dinner. Hopefully it will happen, but we'll wait and see, we'll wait and see. But tonight, just solo, of the dream. Somebody's got to do it. I'm looking forward to these cheese toasties. These mega cheese toasties. Oh yeah. Taste test time. Right. Immense. I'll take that all day long. Right, I'm gonna dig into this, bring you back shortly. I'm gonna not to have the second one. I'm going to stoke the fire, get that kind of kindled up and say the fire, it's just done that uh, lot of gear thing. But I'm going to try and get a wee bit of heat, I'll put a wee bit more wood on it and hopefully get that going. Sit with the fire. Rain's off so it's pitch black now, managed to get a couple of good night shots, stars are out. That's the thing about winter camping, it's just kind of, I don't know. Look, I wasn't going to say stuck in the tent, but in a way you are kind of stuck in the tent because it's, it's just pitch black outside, so, I don't know, just, you're kind of stuck in the tent, aren't you? But hopefully get some good, uh, good camps over the kind of festive period as well. I've got a, I've got a good few days off in the January, so I always try to keep my holidays for January. Because I find that's hopefully we'll get some snow. Maybe we've got a trip up north somewhere. Maybe try and do a do a summit camp but we're gonna try and do a summit camp with snow. Maybe a low level camp. Never know, we might even get snow down this way as well. Occasionally you get you can get a wee bit of the Galloway forest, so where I am though, I'm too close to the coast, so you don't get a lot of snow. 
but we might have stuck with a kind of inland uh, galley forest hopefully we'll get some but really to get the, the good views to get the really nice spots it's up in the north of it I must but I do like Glencoe Glencoe is probably the my kind of favourite area to go when it's, when it's snowing anyway but you never know I might go somewhere else I'll just go snow hunting to the snow camping to me that is it's the best camping by far some folks say oh you're mad you're mad to get out in that but oh, no, to me it's the pinnacle the pinnacle of camping is camping in the snow but you've also got to be prepared with the right gear I have got something new to keep me toasty warm I've not got with it I've not got it with me tonight eh uh, but maybe do a wee spent, I've spent one night in it already but maybe do a I'll do a wee review video on it as well but I'm going to take that out over winter this is oh, I can't wait to use it it's definitely it's, it's a winter item winter sleeping item I'm not going to say any more I just need to tune in at one of my future videos and you'll see it but it's definitely it's a nice bit of kit and I did actually purchase it bought it myself just I've wanted one of these for a wee while but you'll see what it is in a future video I tell you the fire's been struggling tonight I don't know, everything's just so damp uh, I've been trying to get up going for a good all night and it's just it's just not been happening. I'm still kinda of crackling away out there but it's just not been a it's not been a good fire tonight. I don't know why it's no just don't know why it's no catching. There you go. But out, it's all that matters. So I'm trying to think. Uh, I've been trying to think of new places to go. I'm do a bit more exploring. Well, anyway, sometimes you, you end up going to the same places. But as I have done a few kind of different camps lately, that Arica one was a good one. But sometimes it's just getting the time to get away from the further afield and things like that. And as I know there is, there's a lot of place, but even tonight, this is quite a local camp. Where I'm tonight, it's well, it a private estate. But right on the, the river bank, I've got the fire set up off the ground. Arrived late, I'll leave you anyway. Nobody will know. Nobody will know I was here. But I always like to try and find new, kind of new spots. Instead of going to the same spot all the time. So comment below, give me some ideas. Where else? Where else can I go? Always look for somewhere. Okay, yeah, we're gonna climb into the tent. Fire's just it's just not been happening tonight. I'm still going, but it's just I'll be honest, I'm really getting the heat off it, so I'm gonna climb into the tent, uh, climb into the bag and that. I'll be honest. I think I'll just climb out my bag to crash out tonight. Uh, I'm going to get up in the morning, like I say, bright and early, and we'll hike back. So I'm going to stick a film on in there, sit in the lats, catch you in the morning. Oh, well done. Oh, good to sleep. Was it rained for a, a good bit last night? Yeah. But I'm gonna get up. See what the day's like outside. Oh, oh I just love, I love sleeping in a tent. <laughs> Let's get up. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, looks rather nice day. Some more stuff is trying to come out a wee bit. So what we're going to do, we're going to get packed up. Uh, then we're going to hike back to where the car is. But you can see the, the water's up, pretty high. Uh, oh my, in the summer months that's been quite low, but it's definitely can I think it's even done for you back for the last night. Anyway, nothing you bothering. We get my pup stuff packed away and get the tent down. Packed away. That's where I was there. So as you can see, no mess. Not even a mark for where I had my wee fire in that Otzi gear fire pit last night. So nice and clean and tidy. Bags packed. Ready to go. So we're going to call it a day for this video. So as ever folks, just a wee short one this one. Uh, just like to thank everybody for tuning in. Don't mind, hit the new like button. Leave a comment as well if you feel like it. If you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. And make sure you just hit that bell for future notifications. For all my future adventures. Catch you in the next one. Adios. Thank you.